Number 38. Calculate the bond order for an ion with this configuration. And then we have this whole mess. Okay, so whenever they're asking you to find a bond order, there's only one formula that comes to mind, and that's this formula right here. The bond order for a molecular orbital, when you're talking about bond orders, it's always for molecular orbitals. It's always the number of bonding electrons that you see in your configuration minus the number of antibonding, and then just divided by two. But now how are we going to determine what is antibonding and what is bonding, right? Well, the difference is always find out the antibonding. The antibonding is always when you're going to have a either a sigma bond. So it doesn't matter what's going on in here, whether there is a sigma bond, which is represented by this, or a pi bond, which is represented by this, right? But the thing here is that you're looking for those stars in the upper right-hand corner. Anytime that you see a star, this is antibonding. If your notation does not have a star, right? So for example, I have just this, and let's maybe just write a pi, right? And it doesn't matter whether they're talking about 2p or 3p or, you know, the s's, right? Those are always just your valence electrons. But if you don't see a star in the upper right-hand corner, that is your bonding electrons. So first, let's just categorize how many bonding and how many antibonding electrons we have. Now, we're saying that in this case, we have a sigma bond. It's the 2s, right? And it says that we have two electrons in this, um, you know, bond, right? Remember, always the numbers up top, those are your electrons, right? But now you just got to pay attention as to if they're bonding or antibonding. Well, since this is talking about, I don't see a star here, right? So these two have to be for the bonding crew. So maybe what we'll do is we'll say antibonding versus bonding. And I didn't mean to bring that one. I want this one. And maybe on the bottom, we'll say antibonding. Okay. So these two go for the bonding. I got two bonding electrons. Now let's move on to the next one. I have another two, but this one is going towards a star. That's part of the antibonding crew. So this guy comes down here. And for antibonding, I now have, maybe I'll do that in red. I now have two for the antibonding team. Let's keep going. The next number I see in the upper right-hand corner is more twos, right? And is this for bonding or antibonding? I don't see a star up top, so it's for the bonding crew. So I put two on my bonding line. And let's keep going. The next number that I see in the upper right-hand corner is this one, a big four. Is this four electrons for bonding or antibonding? Remember, it's for all of these uh, molecular orbitals in the middle, but I don't see any stars in the upper right-hand corner. So this four goes for the bonding crew. Okay. Last number that I see in the upper right-hand corner is three. Is this for the bonding crew or the antibonding? Ah, I see those stars. So this one is for the antibonding crew. I'm going to bring this down here. Now all we have to do is just add up all of our bonding, and we're going to add up all of our antibonding. So for the bonding, it's 2 plus 2 plus 4, right? So 2 plus 2 plus 4, I just have to make sure that this math is correct, right? 2 plus 2 is 6. Whoa, Christina, I'm jumping the gun here. So this is, this is a total of 8. So we have 8 for the bonding. And if I group the antibonding together, we have 2 plus 3. So 2 plus 3 is a total of 5, so I got 5 antibonding electrons. So I have 8 for the bonding, I got 5 for the antibonding. Now we know what the numbers are going to be. And maybe I'll just put this in blue, just so that we color code blue and red. Okay, so bond order equals the bond order equals something minus something divided by 2, that's standard. 
So my bonding electrons is 8, and I'm going to subtract that from the 5. And let's just keep going, right? Bond order. Bond order equals 8 minus 5 is 3. So 3 over 2. You could leave it as a fraction if you want, but if you want to divide, the bond order would be, drum roll please, 1.5. 1 1.53 1 out of 2, or 3 over 2, tomato, tomato. But that would be your answer. So it's pretty easy once you just tally up all of your electrons and just put them in the formula, and that's it. Did not matter that this was an ion. It all just came down to what electron configuration they gave us for the molecular orbital, and then we just did the math. And that's it. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you're doing well out there. Um, yeah, good luck on your tests, quizzes, anything that's coming up. And check the channel out. We also have physics and math videos at the moment. So stay tuned. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.